gentlemen, welcome to Inventor 2017, aka 2017. Yes, TFI Card Tips bringing you what's new in Inventor 2017. Right, first things first, let's get some housekeeping stuff out the way. Right, there's a lot of new stuff in Inventor 2017. I'm going to be doing a playlist of multiple videos showing you what's new rather than do one extra long video. And this is going to be the first in that series. It's the user interface. So, if you want to check out all the other videos after you've seen this one, click the card up in the right hand corner of the screen and that will show you all the videos that I've done on what's new. So if you've never seen TFI Card Tips before, right, there's going to be a lot of invented what's new 2017 videos coming out from all the various card suppliers, right? They tend to be very minimal, right? That's why I've brought out my channel. That's why my channel exists. I do things in depth. I waffle a lot and I go in detail. Whereas a lot of other channels, it's just like, yeah, what's new? Okay, the interface has changed. Uh, okay, it now supports this and this has changed. Uh, moving on. Uh, whereas I go right in depth, right? I look at the details of things. And uh, I think a lot of people appreciate that. So that's what this series is all about. It might be a bit longer, a lot longer. The videos are actually a lot longer. But it is what it is. And I make no apologies for that. So the first in the series of Inventor, what's new? is the user interface, right? It's the first thing you see when you open up the, uh, any product really, when you open up a new one. You wanna see something different, don't you? You wanna you want to see what you've paid for, what your subscription money has got you. And if it doesn't look any different, you, there's, it starts off with that element of disappointment. It does, doesn't it? You're like, I, I can't see anything different. I wanna see what these guys have been doing for the last year. I wanna see if I've been working for the money. And with Inventor 2017, you get that. It looks visibly different. It looks crisp. It looks clean and clinical. And I like it. Not everybody likes it. There's been a few people complaining about the the, con the, the similar contrast between different UI elements. But I quite like it, right? And it's, it's entirely subjective, but I quite like it. Okay, so you might be thinking, it doesn't look any different, man. It's still ribbons along the top and boxes in the middle. Yeah, well, if you go back to 2016 and take a look at that, right, the ribbon bar along the top, you probably, I mean, I didn't, to be, I'm not going to lie and be like, oh, I was using Event 2016 and I was like, oh, I don't like how cluttered it is and how messy it is. It wasn't like that. It's just when you see something new, you sort of appreciate how how cluttered the old one was. So the old one was, uh, you can see the ribbon bar on the top. You've got, you know, a lot of contrasting colours, a lot of separators. You've got this different gradient here between the, the buttons and then the blank ribbon bar. Go back to 2017, it's just cleaner, right? It's just a lot nicer looking. So they've tidied up the UI a little bit, right? And it's just, yeah, it's just nicer. It's just nicer, right? Some of the UI things that have changed. The first one, which uh, I think is is definitely, it's an important one for the future. Maybe not so much now, but for the future, is Inventor 2017 supports or better supports 4K monitors. So if you're running your PC at a 4K resolution, it's gonna be a lot nicer, right? This recording that you're watching now is done on my Alienware laptop, right? Which is a 4K resolution. So what you're looking at now is 4K. So we go back to Inventor 2016. 2016 on 4K is horrible, right? I couldn't work. You can't work with it. It's not possible. If you've never used it, I mean, a lot, I would imagine a lot of people out there have never. You've heard of 4K. You've heard of 4K tellies. You've heard of 4K content, 4K videos. If you've never used a PC at 4K, it's awful. It's horrible. The reason for that is the 4K resolution makes everything absolutely tiny. All your text, all your buttons, all your icons, they go tiny. And the reason for that is because the resolution is huge. Video at 4K is amazing. It's amazing because everything's so crisp. It's so condensed. It's so There's so much clarity there. But then the, the side effect of that is all your text goes tiny as well. So to handle that, right, this is Windows coming into play. You've got to apply a scale factor to everything in Windows. And this isn't this isn't pie-in-the-sky stuff. This is real, right? If you're running at a 4K resolution, you have to do this. So if you look at 2016, right, look at these application buttons here. Look how small they are, right? And Windows has maximized its scaled up. Or I, you see the, the mouse cursor there, right? That's been scaled up by Windows by about 250%. But there's some UI elements which haven't been scaled up, right? They just they just get ignored by the Windows scale factor, right? And that includes these buttons here. Uh, also, the application button at the top left. Look at that. Look how small that is. It's just it's just messy, and that then propagates throughout various other things in Inventor 2016. So if we go to like maybe make a make a new part, right? The browser nodes, all the browser nodes are absolutely tiny, right? They get ignored by the scaling. It's just Windows doesn't know to apply itself to to these elements. So you end up with like tiny little folders here and tiny little icons, all the little pluses that you've got to expand. These are all absolutely tiny. It's just nasty to work with. And um, 
if I was working with a 4K monitor in Inventor 2016, I would have to nerf my resolution down to 1080p, or I couldn't work like that. Even with, I've got 2020 vision, and even you have to lean towards the monitor and try and get the cursor onto certain elements to pick them. It's not nice. I mean, look at this up here. The view cube's tiny. It's just nasty. It's just nasty. So Inventor 2017 kind of fixes most of those. Disclaimer time, right? I am use, I'm doing this video a week in advance of the, the actual launch of 2017. So what I'm using here is an early release candidate. It's not the beta, but it's not the final release, right? It's just a release candidate. So a lot of the things could change between now and time of release. Not too much, but some things. And it's not perfect, right? The 4K support isn't perfect. There are still some things within the UI which aren't perfect, but I'm sure they'll get there over time. They'll tweak certain things. And 4K is not that mainstream yet, and I don't know if it ever will be mainstream. But that's not for me to say. It's not for me to comment on, really. But uh, over time, it should get better. So that's the first thing. 4K support is a lot better. It's a hell of a lot better. I could work with this. I could work with a 4K monitor now. Uh, but I tell you what, I tell you what, if you are working with 4K, you've got to have a good PC. Pushing out those pixels, man. Those pixels need some power. What else is new? Right, well, let's have a look at the, the actual visual graphical quality of Inventor 2017, right? You're probably thinking, hmm, okay, right, what's different? Well, let's open up the exact same model in 2016. Right, what the, the first thing that they've done, the first thing that they've done is they've massively improved the the, the, the gamma, the, the on-screen luminance of the, of the models, of the display window. So what you're seeing here, right, if you have a look at the black area of the car here, it's quite dark, it's quite dingy. There's not a lot of light hitting this object here. It's quite just black. If we look at the exact same model in 2017, we've got, it's just brighter. There's a, there's like a, a sort of shine on the model. And that's passive. There's nothing you can do about that. It's passive. They've just adjusted the graphical engine just to make things look brighter and more ambient. And you might be thinking, well, you've, well that's because you, you, the visual, the graphical, you've changed the lighting styles and you've tweaked it. No, I haven't. I haven't changed anything. Not done a single thing. This is using the grid light lighting style. We've got shaded on, and there's no shadows and no reflections. 2016. It's got the view tab, grid light, shaded, no shadows, no reflections. It's exactly. Oh, but grid light must. You must have changed grid. No, no, I haven't touched anything. Right. The 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 lighting environments are absolutely identical. I've looked at all the slide bars. I've looked at all the 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 properties of each lighting style. They're all identical. They've just purely made a passive change to the the, the, the graphical engine, so everything's lighter and nicer looking. And it works. It works. It, it's just nicer to look at. 2017, 2016, 2017, 2016. So it's, it's just nicer. It's nicer. However, there is a downside, right? And I, I'm, I don't mind pointing out some problems as well, right? For some reason, and I, I don't know why, this could be either changed on the release build or in the future. I don't know why. But both of these uh, applications are set to uh, quality, right? So in the application options, hardware it's set to quality and in Inventor 2016 if we go to the application options this one is also set uh, to quality and uh, display set to smoother and on 2017 that is also set to smoother I, I, trust me it is right for some reason in Inventor 2017 there is a visible degradation in edge quality right what Inventor should be doing is applying a certain level I think it's f times four level of anti-aliasing to the edges. However, that doesn't seem to be happening. And it's more prominent on a 1080p display. Even on 4K, you can see along the bottom edge of the bumper, there's a visible stepping on the edges, right? You can see the jagged edges along the bottom of that bumper. If we go to 2016, you don't get that there. The anti-aliasing is actually being applied properly to the line edge, and you're not seeing that there. On 2017, you can see there's like a, step, there's like a stepped edge. If I flick between the two, smooth, Jaggedy. It's very prominent around just above the mouse cursor there. And there's nothing you can do about that, right? Inventor's running it at the highest graphical quality settings at the moment, and there's nothing you can do about that. On 1080p, trust me, that is a lot more prominent. It's a lot more stepped. That's just one thing I've noticed. It's not the end of the world at all, but it's just one thing I've noticed, and you guys might see it too. And uh, it's uh, it's not really a thing to, to point out too much. Right, other UI changes they've made. Right. They've uh, they've made a, a U-turn on their application ribbon bar stuff at the top, right? So in Inventor 2016, you, you'll remember you have this big I button, right? Which you press, and that drops down this here. They've changed that in 2017, right? They've still got the I button up at the top, but all that does is give you restore all the Windows interactions. 
they've now brought back the file menu. So whereas you would have clicked the I to get this menu, you've now clicked the file menu, right? That's just, it's minimal. I mean, d does anyone really care? Probably not, but it's just something worth noting. That's there. Uh, some other th interface things that they've done, right? They've made a they've made quite a big change to the, some of the dialog boxes within uh, the appearances. So in Inventor 2016, if you were to go into say the environment menus and you would select settings, right, you get this sort of very clunky graphical uh, interface menu where you've got sort of um, slide bars all over the place and yeah, shadows is sort of down here at the bottom, shadow settings and uh, all slide bars all over the place. In 2017, they've separated that out into tabs, which makes it a little bit more manageable, a little bit more user-friendly. So if we go into settings, we've now got an environment tab with just the, the slide bars just for the environment. We've got the lighting tab with slide bars just for lighting, and then you've got a shadows tab with slide bars just for shadows. It just separates things out, makes it more more user-friendly. Yeah, it's in nice, nice chunks, nice edible chunks. And I think as far as the UI goes, that's about it, right? Everything, oh no, 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 it's not, no, it's not, right? The, oh, I can't believe I nearly forgot about this. The browser, right, the browser tree. This is really controversial and a lot of people are not gonna like this. In 2016, right, your browser tree was separated by a little sort of tree. I don't know what they're called, but you can see them, little lines and little fly outs here. So you can see how things are linked together. Again, it's very difficult to see it in 4K, but you can see in plus, and you've got little lines there. The tree, the hierarchical tree structure is very clear in the, the 2016 browser. In 2017, oh, it's gone. It's gone. It's gone. There's no lines. It's this sort of Windows Explorer type little arrows and drop downs. And people are kicking off about that, and I can't imagine that's going to change on launch when, when this is brought out to the mass. Uh, we've made our displeasure known about this, but it's, it's still there, and it's made its way to launch. I'm afraid that's the thing. So the UI is a little bit funky. It's it's uh, it's not going to be to everyone's taste. So that's probably about it. Yeah. If there's anything else, I'll uh, I'll put I'll put out update videos in the future if there's anything else worth noting. But I think that's about it for the UI elements. So that's the first in the series of the What's New in Inventor 2017. If you do like that, please press like. Check out the rest of the What's New videos. Uh, subscribe if you haven't done already. Comment all that good stuff. You know what to do. And until next time, toodles.